So of course nobody quite knows why crop circles appear, but what is interesting is that they've appeared for many centuries. There are actually woodcuts from the 16th century which show crop circles appearing in fields. And they don't just appear here in southern England and Wiltshire, they're appearing all over the globe. And not just in crops, but in snow and ice, in, in the light snowfall on iced up lakes, in the sands and the deserts of Western Australia. Sometimes huge things which can only be seen from the air, huge sort of geometric mandalas and yantras from sort of Hindu sort of tantric symbology. And the theories, of course, are extensive, ranging from pure sort of hoaxes through to extraterrestrial interference to some kind of earth energy manifesting itself and showing us some kind of new knowledge. One of the interesting theories about this part of the UK is that these chalk downs are above some of the biggest water aquifers in Europe and there's a sort of strong correlation uh, some maintain between where there's underground reserves of water and where these things manifest and that water itself has some kind of cellular memory which manifests and um, brings to light some of these extraordinary sort of esoteric symbols and that it's somehow this sort of intelligent animate earth speaking to us and telling us things that we need to know. But uh, the fact that they are purely down to um, hoaxes is, to my mind, completely disproved by the, the uh, extraordinary intricacy of some of these circles and the way the wheat has been interwoven and the speed at which they appear. And compared to those that are quite obviously hoaxed, they're just um, miles and miles apart. And they've actually tested the seed within the crops within these circles and shown them to have sort of slight changes to their DNA, that they're actually more nutritious, more prone to the disease, to drought, etc. Um, this has been done in laboratories here and in the States. And also, there is an extraordinary bit of film I have seen of a crop circle manifesting in the back of 10-15 seconds in a field, shot at night with um, infrared or whatever. And these little silver balls uh, a bit bigger than a tennis ball, but smaller than a football, just about four or five of them whizzing into this field, zipping around, making these very sharp, angular turns, and the crop literally just lying down, bosh, in a few seconds, and that's it. And the little balls of light whiz off. Now, um, various people claim to have seen these things. As far as I know, it's the only time it's been captured on film, but it uh, certainly makes you wonder. And the intricacy and the size of these things, some of them, you know, there was a giant jellyfish the other day, 600 feet long. Completely impossible to have done this overnight in the short hours allowed at the height of summer in the UK. And the sophistication of what's been done. And also the extraordinary accuracy when these things are being measured up. And when you put some of these symbols onto the computer and turn them into three-dimensional shapes, they then take on again yet more meaning and seem to be possibly just flat two-dimensional representations of something which we need to, to um, transpose into three dimensions to really get the real essence of it. Anyway, it's all pretty intriguing stuff. It's right here in England.